Hey guys, it's Rush G. How you all doing? I'm doing a video today on Dragon Punch into CA. So it sounds really basic, but there's quite a few scenarios here that you need to consider. So just to backtrack, the reason why this has come about is because I've been watching a lot of Jones in his um, stream. Um, shout out to Jones and the work he's put in. What I notice is, and again, this is not me, you know, criticizing anybody and, you know, nothing against Jones at all. So I'm gonna throw that out there. Um, Jones is a very high level player. He's, you know, his knowledge of the character, his knowledge of matchups and his play style is very, very good. But that's not to say that people can't learn and that's the whole point of this video and um, I actually spotted something he was doing I thought so I thought yeah he's not cancelling after like kick tattoo V trigger uh, into DP and CA in the way that I do for max damage I only found this out recently so this isn't something that most Kens know so back in the day I was doing um, it, so we're talking about V trigger now so say if you, say if you got a V trigger combo like that I'll do that so heavy punch DP for one hit, and I'll do CA. I'm just going to count it off. Now let me show you the difference here. All right. So if I do a light punch, uh, a medium punch DP for one hit, just you have to quickly watch the uh, the damage um, output. Look at the first hit. See that? It was 90 and 40. 90 on the first hit. Heavy punch DP. It'll be quite quick now, but 30, 60, 90. So three hits. You gotta get the third hit to land 90 damage. One, two, three, 90 damage. Now, in a light kick, deep, a light kick Tatsu situation in V Trigger, if you cancel on the first hit, and get, get it out. Why is that not working? going on there but anyway so one hit of dragon punch heavy punch into ca three eight nine now watch the damage difference i want to get want to get two hits now. that's two hits of heavy punch dp it's three eight nine four sixteen Now there's proof that you can do Heavy Punch DP after Logic Tattoo and CA, 3 hit, 3, 3, 4. So just to recap there, you can do Heavy Punch DP after Like It Tattoo and V-Trigger and cancel the CA. The key is, you have to delay it. If you do it straight away, you can't get 3 hits because the, um, the red Ken will be too high in the air. You have to wait and cancel at the last minute and it will link. If you do it too early, or with see there is a difference time is crucial but the whole point of this video and what I'm trying to explain to Jones is you don't have to go for heavy punch DP to making it difficult waiting for the third hit of heavy punch DP and cancelling to CA requires timing and you, it requires the right height of the opponent so like I said you have to delay it because it requires a delay and then the correct timing to get three hits then cancels into CA it's not difficult and I practiced it and I did it loads and loads over the last few months but then I saw something Momochi did I saw him cancel light kick tattoo into DPCA one hit and I thought why has he done that that's that's not that's not optimal what he was doing was is he was cancelling into medium punch DP for one hit in CA and you'll see now he'll do the same damage it'll do 443 if I can get it to come out there you, go. you don't have to there's no delay one hit of the DP, cancel it into CA, work straight away. Job done. So this, so people in the chat said no. The medium punch DP will whiff. I think they said. Now watch this. If I do a V trigger, v -trigger combo, it won't whiff, and I'll even get a crouching heavy punch before the Lagi Tatsu. So if I did, that didn't combo. It works every time. That was medium punch DP one hit to CA. See there, even though it scaled because of the V trigger and the combo before. That's the way to cancel your DP to CA in V trigger.
the only time that rule doesn't apply is when let me show you in the corner now if you're in v trigger and the opponent's in the corner and i'll go into more detail about this if the opponent is in a grounded state you don't get two dragon punches using um medium punch so if i was to do that so they're grounded there yeah the medium punch dp won't link will not link if they're in a juggle state if i were to do uh, oh don't want to do it. you can get the link now this is where it's getting a bit more detail now so where would you want to cancel so think about what I'm trying to do there. I'm trying to do light punch DP and then medium punch DP for one hit to cancel to CA. So a good example of that would be Chin Buster. A chin Buster, you can cancel into CA, but in, especially in the corner by doing B skill, light punch DP, heavy punch DP for three hits, CA. So that's what I used to do back in the day. I used to do three hits and cancel into CA. I don't know why it's not working. There you go. So that was Chin Buster, Light Punch, a V skill, Light Punch DP, Heavy Punch DP, and then CA. The V skill allows the Red Ken to drop to a certain height to land that quite low, and then you can get the juggle. Like in that situation, they're quite high, so if I do. It's fair, it should still work that. But to make, to make execution easier, what you can do is you can do the light, the V skill, light punch DP, medium punch DP for one hit, then CA, and it does work if they're already in a juggle state. That's the important factor. If they're already in a juggle state in the corner, I'll show you that now. See the medium punch DP, it hits now, and it only needs to hit for one hit, and you get the same damage output. Go. It makes execute, execution much easier, that's the point. So that did 458. Let me just show you again to compare it. 458, what do we get here? Should be exactly the same. 458. It's easier execution to do the medium punch of DP, that's what I'm trying to say. It'll work with line breaker. Oops. You'd have to, oops, too many hits. You'd have to time the, the mini punch DP there. So, you can't do the V, you can't do the V skill, it won't work. That whips. So that works. So you don't have to do the three hits of heavy punch DP in the corner. That doesn't apply mid screen though with Chin Buster, unfortunately. So, Chin Buster mid screen, you only get EX after if you want to cancel CA there, the key is to do the V skill and cancel your light punch DP in CA. Like that. That gives you max damage mid screen. You get no follow up there. The medium punch DP and the heavy and the heavy punch will whiff. That doesn't work. And you won't get the heavy punch. That's only corner specific. So I've basically explained when to use medium punch DP cancel the CA over heavy punch DP. That's all the scenarios pretty much guys. It works to fair, I'll show you some more setups. Look. Show you. This one's quite specific as well. So like your tattoo, two hits you can't get light punch DP. Doesn't work. But if you were to get, say, one hit, light punch DP does work now. So this is specific to two scenarios. So um, that, light punch DP, heavy punch DP and crouching light kick, stand light punch. Works out well. As long as you get one hit of the tattoo of the corner, you can juggle into deep into light punch DP. It works. Two hits, it doesn't work. So you can even use the light punch mini punch setup in the corner in that scenario. So you could do and that works as well. Look. Up two more damage. No one needs the three hits heavy punch DP. So what I saw Jones doing was is um, for the, the few games I saw, he was cancelling like attacks in mid screen into heavy punch DP for two hits 
Remember two hits, only 60 damage, so yeah, it's not massive. He's throwing away 30 extra damage. Add scaling into that, it's probably about 20. But I could see by the health bar that he wasn't optimal. That's that's how much I not um that's how much I, I spotted it. I saw when he did the dragon punch. But I didn't do as much health, you know, damage as I thought. So he was doing And I know why he was doing that. Because he didn't want the CA to win. He didn't delay the dragon punch. But he still wanted fairly optimal damage. Just do the mini punch DP. It'll work every time. You don't have to delay it. There's no timing required to cancel. Just go straight into it. So, um, what was I talking about? So, yeah, the other scenario is if it's crouching mini punch, that night kick. If you like it, that's after that in the corner. Again, this is V trigger specific. You can get the mini punch DP as, as, as there as well. That works. So that's quite a few scenarios. So anyway, any time they're in a juggle state. So from one hit like that too in the corner. Chin Buster, Lion Breaker. I can't think what other scenario you could get them in a juggle state. I guess you could get a counter hit. Let me think. Would this work? I've never tried this before. Well to be fair, you get three dragon punches there, don't you? That, that's that's different. You see there, you, so it works there as well. So there you go. Two lights, two light DPs, one in medium punch. Timing's always tricky on this one. You can cancel that first hit into CA. There you go. Optimal because the medium punch DP one hit does the same amount of damage as the heavy punch DP three hits. So there's that scenario. That's gonna be a bit more tricky to do. Have to be away from the corner. Execution's off this morning. What's going on? I'm doing two quarter circles and doing punch kick. I'm plinking it, but it's not working. There you go. That is the best way to, to optimize that combo. Massive damage, 480. Because I use medium punch DP, one hit CA. So that covers the V trigger aspects of um, dragon punch cancels. Well, in juggle states. Now, grounded opponents, what happens then? So, grounded opponents. Uh, I'll do V-Trick again. Turn counter off. So if they're grounded, let's make it mid-screen. So this is not corner specific stuff now. So oh, sorry, well we covered we covered grounded in the corner. Grounded in the corner was light punch here, but you have to go heavy punch for three hits there. You can't get the medium punch link. So I show it. There you go. That doesn't link. So in the corner. Three hits. So what happens mid scream? So mid scream. Let's go for a basic combo. Crouch and medium punch down low kick. So that does link. But that hit on the second hit, the medium punch DP. I think it's the second hit. Yeah, it doesn't do enough damage to justify it being the first hit. First hit's 90, second's 50. You can see there the damage was plus 60, and it scaled by 80%. 80% of 50 would be 40. Does that make sense? Yeah, a bit of math for you there. Um, so what you do here is you, you go for the heavy punch DP because it will get you the most damage in a ground situation. You can't cancel the second hit of medium punch DP with CA. It won't work if I show you. Only the first hit cancels. It's quite hard to do. But you can't cancel that. There's no way to cancel that into CA. He's already in the air. So what you have to do is, is you do heavy punch DP for three hits. And cancel the third hit to the CA. This is where you need to know the timing for Ken. The timing for Ken to get that is what I do is I'll do one, two, three. I'll look at the way inputs. I'll do the dragon punch right at the bottom. And then quarter circle forward once. 
quarter cycle forward twice, quarter cycle forward a third time, and then I press kick. The reason why I do that is to give me the timing for the three hits before I go into CA. So I'll show you again. Remember, this is V trigger. This is V trigger, mid screen, grounded opponent. Three quarter circle forwards and then kick. That gives you a timing for it to land after three hits and heavy punch DP. This is what I was doing for every combo in V trigger. So this was after the like it tattoo. This is the corner cut setups. I'd pump my D pad three times after the dragon punch um, and then pressing kick for the CA. So that's probably the best way to do that. And that's where you have to use heavy punch DP to get more damage. It also applies out of V trigger. So out of V trigger, you can't get three hits of heavy punch DP. Let's do the lot. Let's, let's do the medium punch first. That whiffs. That doesn't even work there. There's no chance of using medium punch DP for one hit. You wouldn't want to anyway because it does 80. I think the most powerful dragon punch, non V trigger, is like punch DP for one hit. And it usually cancel. Medium punch does a. That's a 40 on the first hit. No, no, sorry. 80 first hit. Whereas this does 110 for two hits. Oh. So that second hit, 110. So that's pretty. Sorry, I told you a lie then. The most powerful Dragon Punch non V trigger is. that allows cancels is the Heavy Punch DP. It's one, 110. That's right, yeah. I'm probably. I'm talking rubbish now. So, um. What you want to do in a grounded situation, in a grounded situation here is, is you want to do we use the same setup, crouch and medium punch down low kick. On the second hit of um, the heavy punch DP, cancel the CA, and you can see there that I did dragon punch. I did one quarter circle forward, a second quarter circle forward, and then I press kick. I did two quarter circle forwards after the dragon punch, press kick for the timing. So whereas in V trigger I did three three times. Non V trigger I did two times, and that's what gives you the timing for the hits. I'll show that again. There you go, it works every time. I can't, it's not difficult to do, it's very easy to practice. So that's how to optimize mid screen non V trigger. Works with lights as well, so. Exact same way. It, it, wouldn't you practice it? It's very easy to do. Yeah, you can do. You can do that if you want to for one hit, but you're not optimizing your combos. It's probably the best way to learn it initially, but if you want to optimize later on, try to implement the the quarter forward to adjust. But just remember, it's two hits done V trigger, three hits out of V trigger. And um, to wrap up the video, guys, so what happens if you do a like it tattoo, um, non V trigger? I want to cancel the CA. So. You're limited here. To, uh, your options are completely here. There's only one thing you can do. You can't light punch DP. And none of those scenarios, even V-Trick, will that work for two hits. Like that too. Medium punch DP with doesn't have the range. You can't do one hit medium punch DP. And heavy punch DP. You're going to be very careful here. You don't want to delay it because you might miss it altogether. But I think it's only first hit that cancels. You can't get the second hit to cancel because it doesn't have the range. It'll be in the air and by the second hit. So if I try and delay it, see I can't I can't cancel. It's like near impossible. What about the corners? Uh, could be because so what was the first hit does 60 and the second hit does 50. That's, that's hard to see. I have to slow that video down to figure out which hit. I think it's the second hit of the DP that lands there. Well, of course it is, yeah, because he's only getting four hits. Heavy punch DP does three hits, but you're only getting two hits there. So you're cancelling on the second hit into CA. You can't cancel on the third hit because he's airborne then. That doesn't work. In the corner, you're getting two hits here, so that's, that makes perfect sense. This is why I love the theory and the, um, the tech side of Street Fighter, especially with Kent. So you're cancelling the, you're cancelling the Dragon Punch in the CA on the second hit. Ken isn't able to cancel if I do this. You can't cancel on the third hit, non-V trigger. 
See, I tried to do three quarter circles there and press kick. It didn't work because you can't cancel on that third hit. It has to be the second hit. Like that. And that explains why. That's why you have to cancel on the first hit of Dragon Punch there. Because not actually the first hit, it's the second hit. So you get one hit of Dragon Punch into CA because it's hitting on the second hit in the juggle state. Um, that would apply to Chin Buster as well. That's the only way you can cancel it. Um, one hit to the Dragon Punch, which is the second hit. Confirm that. I know it's not. Okay. So there it's the second. Get all three hits. Yeah, so what happens here is, so in this scenario, you can't in on the second hit, which gives you a four hit combo. That will whiff. That's why you don't do that. Because they're, really, they're in a juggle state, they're higher up. The second hit of the Dragon Punch knocks them even higher in the air when you cancel the CA. You whiff. So what you do is you cancel the first hit, the very first hit of the Dragon Punch, so you cancel for one hit. Oops. The reason you do that is because you don't want the CA to whiff. If you use any other um, Dragon Punch, that'll whiff. So that's Light Punch. Medium Punch will whiff as well, I think. Oh, it doesn't. That's interesting. I'm sure me screen it all with. Huh. I did not know that. That's 60 damage. 80 damage. What from space away? That's interesting. I never knew that. So optimal chin buster combo outside of V trigger into CA is medium punch DP. That's pretty big that is. Something tells me that, that may whip in some situations. But okay, it's not. You can see there. 397. Versus. Three eight one. No brainer there at all. I'll definitely use that in the future. Um we did talk about line breaker as well. I think the same rule applies for line breaker. I wouldn't mini punch DP there. Yeah, look. It's a bit risky that because you can whiff. Because it's out of range. Out of range, the CA can whiff. Why is it not coming out? There you go. So it only, it only works at close range, that. So what I usually do is that, um, I'm at max range, I do. Raw CA and it works. Line breakers are a different one, I might have to address that in a different video. So I'm not sure on the line breaker tech. For Dragon Punch CA, but my rule of thumb is use Heavy Punch DP CA up close, long range, just do raw CA. I suppose close range, if you if you are close range, you can get Medium Punch DP for more damage. But I'd have to test it before I um, implement it into my gameplay. That's optimal in that situation. This is all non V trigger, but at range, I wouldn't do Medium Punch DP. I'll show you why again. But with but that range. Man. Back there. Can't get that. So guys, that covers a hell of a lot. A hell of a lot. So I've covered grounded. So it's V trigger, non V trigger. Covered grounded, grounded corner. Um, and, and juggle corner situations. Um, Options are less non V trigger. So basically, it's the medium punch beat DP after C after Chin Buster. It's the heavy punch DP two hits grounded when you're yeah non V trigger. In V trigger, it's three hits heavy punch DP grounded corner and mid screen. But mid but corner you get light punch DP heavy punch DP three hits. In a juggle state, you can get light punch DP 
um, and then Melee Punch DP1 hit CA. And if you actually like your tactics in mid screen, you can get Melee Punch DP1 hit CA as well. So um, that covers everything. For, if you want to get optimal damage from Dragon Punch to CA, I'm pretty sure I've covered everything that you need to know. I don't think you have to watch any of the videos to optimize your combos. So um, yeah, it's been a, this is a very powerful, very useful video. So make sure you take note of it. If you're looking to improve your Ken and to optimize your cancels, sorry, your combos using CA, using Dragon Punches, when you're in V Trigger and you're not in V Trigger, this is what you need to learn. I know all this stuff off the, off the top of my head. The only mistake I will sometimes make is I'll go for medium punch DP in the corner when they're grounded. So I'll, I'll do that sometimes, and that's cost me a few matches within second DP. Just gotta remember. Need heavy punch. So you guys, so it's a really good video. Make sure you absorb it all, take it all in. Uh, yeah, I hopefully that's been useful. That's been helpful. Any feedback as usual, let me know. Catch you next video. Take care.